How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you this. How to finally fully control your iPhone camera. And the best part is this is made by Apple. This is completely new and made by Apple and completely free. As you can see, you can easily switch between focal length, zoom. Of course, you have a ton of controls, including your temperature, exposure, automatic or manual focus. Of course, here you have everything you want to check if you want to talk about Kodak, dynamic range, resolution, frames per second, and a ton, ton more stuff. Let's get started. Let me show you. This is amazing. So as you can probably tell, this is a new app. Apple released a completely new app, so it's not integrated into the camera app, but in my opinion, it's much better this way. So all you have to do is open up the App Store and then go to search and then look for Final Cut. You're going to see here Final Cut Camera. Yeah, just like Final Cut Pro, right? So as you can see right here, Final Cut Camera is made by Apple, developed by Apple, is completely free. And one of the best things about it is it's super compatible because all you need is an iPhone running iOS 17.4. So even if you have an iPhone 10R, you will be able to use Final Cut Camera on your iPhone for free. This is amazing. So let's go ahead and download it. As I said, there are no in-app purchases, no subscriptions, nothing like that. It's free just like that. Let it download and install. Let's go ahead and open up the new app. Welcome to Final Cut Camera. Now, of course, you're going to need to uh, permit camera access and microphone access. When it opens up, you're going to see here the possibility to connect to live multicam. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but that's pretty much the ability to use multiple devices and record everything synced up up to four devices like this iPhone and other iPhone and iPad. They're going to be all synced up recording at the same time. This is so, so cool. But let me give you an overview of the app. And I want to start off showing you this view. So let's go ahead and talk about focal length. So right here we have, of course, 13 millimeter, 24, 120. And of course, with this, we can control zoom so much better. Please keep in mind that depending on your iPhone model, you won't have as many options. So talking about focal length and of course, talking about the lenses that pro iPhones have because they have three, right? But you can do pretty much the same thing regardless of your iPhone model. So if I tap here on 120 millimeters, it's already going to zoom in quite a lot. And if I tap here on zoom, let me go ahead and go away from those buildings for privacy reasons. So if I go ahead here and zoom in, as you can see, look at this. Look at the zoom. So of course, it's going to shake a little bit, but I can guarantee you that this zoom on this app is going to be way better, way more zoom than on your typical camera app. It's going to give you much more controls. It's going to give you full control of your iPhone camera. Sometimes the quality won't be perfect, but Apple is saying this is full control. You can take your iPhone camera to the extreme if you want to. So this is so nice. Right here, you can go ahead and tap on the arrow pointing up, as you can see. And right here, of course, you can choose the color, so the white balance. So you can go ahead and make it like super blue if you want to or super yellow. Of course, you can go ahead and choose fixed. Or if you want to, you can choose like automatic. So it's going to do it automatically or you can fix on whatever range here you want or you can choose daylight or shadow and so on. And it's going to correct for you just like those presets we have on proper cameras. So this is really, really nice. If you tap here, you have exposure. So you can easily choose if you want to go super dark or if you want to go super light. And of course, it's all automatic as well if you want to or manual. So you can choose here the shutter speed. So it's set now to one by 48. As you can see, your ISO is 9000. And of course, I completely screwed up, right? Now it's completely blown up, but I can of course adjust it if I want to. And I can go ahead here, tap on auto, tap on shutter, and then tap on manual. And then it's gonna correct it as you can see right here. And then again, tap on exposure once again and then tap on auto, tap on ISO, and then correct it as well. And then it's gonna be perfect. So then I can easily choose between manual and automatic, which is amazing. Same thing with autofocus. As you can see right here, if I get closer or more far away, it's gonna change here the number. 
as you can see, because it's focusing right there at, the, at the, the back. But if I tap here on manual, it's gonna adjust perfectly. And then I tap on automatic, perfect once again. So automatic or manual focus. And of course, right here, I can choose if I wanna leave it unlocked or maybe left. So then as you can see right here, I have now in landscape mode and it looks amazing. Everything is perfectly uh, set up as you can see right here. And I even got here my battery percentage. So it looks like a proper camera. This is so nice. Now let's get back to the table because my shoulder is killing me. So we have much more configurations and options and possibilities here with Final Cut camera. So for example, at the top right, we have this volume indication, the microphone indication. So you can easily see when there's audio being picked up. This is very nice. We have here at the top left, this 10 hour indication and that's how much I still can record on those settings that I have here on this iPhone with the available storage I have. So on this standard use, I have like 10 hours of recording time, but if I tap here on the top, I can choose a bunch of extra parameters. Like for example, the Kodak, if I'm gonna use AGVC or Apple ProRes, and as I choose Apple ProRes, I only got now 16 minutes, this is insane. So I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's pretty free of storage right now, this is brand new, and then I've got 16 minutes left until I'm out of storage. This is amazing, but of course, the quality on ProRes is insane. But let's get back here to AGVC. I've got here dynamic range, so I can choose HDR or SDR. As you can definitely tell on SDR, it gets a little bit darker, right? When I go for HDR, it gets a little bit brighter, it opens up, it gets much better. So then of course, it's gonna play with your contrast and so on, so always HDR all the way, right? Uh, we have here resolution, so we have here 720 1080p, 1080p, and 4K. So then if I go for HD, 720p, 97 hours. If I go for 4K, 10 hours. And if I go here for my frames per second, if I go for 60, of course, naturally, it's double the frame. So I'm pretty much gonna lose half of my available recording time. But let's go back to 30. So as you can see right here, you can fully customize everything in a much better, well-sorted interface. It looks incredible. Of course, here we even got some settings. So we've got some preferences, which is pretty much here at the top. So codec format, color and dynamic range, stabilization, which I super recommend that you enable, especially if you're gonna zoom in a lot. You can mirror the front camera. And of course, you can switch between your front and your back camera, so super easy to do that. And that's pretty much it. We've got some extra tools like grid and aspect ratio and some more aspects. And of course, an external audio if you want that. You can have an input source for audio like a microphone or something like that. And that's pretty much Final Cut Camera. A free app that we've been waiting for so, so, so long. And it's finally here, the ability to fully control your iPhone camera like a pro. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.